Hi, I'm Jo from Jo's Paradise of Colour. Um, I want to apologise. I have not done many videos this year. Um, but it's mainly because I just haven't had any stock to be able to do new videos for you. However... I have a ton of parcels to open today. Um, so yeah, that's pretty exciting. Which means I will be uh, planning more videos soon. I do have to get everything finished on my weaving first. And then I will... Um, I have a order for some gold um, and rich tonal colours that I have to dye as well as spin it up. So I will be filming that one uh, for the entire process of it. It will be a special um, piece that my buyer is going to be making. Um, she is planning to be making a um, Egyptian collar. Um, what do they call them? I will put up a video. Um, I will put up a picture of rough of what she is going to go for um i do need to spin that up in different types of spinning techniques um so i will be doing super beehives and also um some double ply um and she also wants me to add mixed media into that spinning so it will be very interesting once it is all dyed or spun and then created into her collar um so some of these parcels that i have here um are for her order and then the rest are restock for future other videos as well as a surprise parcel from one of the Ravelry swap groups that I have recently joined back. So to start we will open um, I bought some new dies um, from Craft Colours. Um, I will show what I bought. Some of these are for the order and then others are what I've run out of. My favourite die to use is the landscape dies. It is a very bright and also very rich and lush colour colour palette. Um, you can watch some of my videos that I have available on YouTube um, to show how they turn out if you would like it's very well taped so these are all Australian fauna and flora um, so got a ready orange one 
I think it's more dark orange. Saffron. Opal. Kingfisher. I use a lot of opal and a lot of kingfisher. And I bought a bronze. So those um, golds, golds and oranges are uh, for the custom order. The, the others are what I've run out of. Next, I will open. This one is from Ishelle Bunning, Yarn and Fiber. This is also for the custom order. Five hundred grams of her blend of cashmino silk. It is so super soft and so shiny. So pretty. Um, this is a custom order. Oh, tissue paper. This is a restock. This one is from Kathy's Fibers in Australia. So pretty. I got some black merino. There's a lot in this bag. I got some um, Warinda. I, I apologize if I get the names wrong. Warinda Polworth. Polworth as Wave Dancer. So that was pretty. This one's pretty. This is a bamboo merino. No, this is a merino tensile in Volda. Pretty. This one's merino silk 
in Firestone. I really like this one. It's so beautiful and shiny. Such beautiful colours. This one's Merino Bamboo. I love this one too. This one is a Merino Bamboo. So pretty. So I've gone a lot of autumn-ish colours. It's winter here now, but I still think they're beautiful for all year round. I bought some brown merino. Natural. So the brown and the black is for um, a carding video and also um, more um, mini bats for my mum. So I also bought some um, hand painted tusser silk which is very beautiful very pretty they are to go with the carding um, the mini bats for my mum as well as extra for more um, fiber prep videos so that's um, my package from Kathy's fibers very beautiful all of it's so pretty Um, without your support um, with purchasing from my Etsy shop um, during sales or um, any time, I couldn't um, purchase restock. So thank you very much for everyone that has bought from me and helped me um, provide more content for my YouTube the next one is from Gary Sheen on Facebook Oh no, not this one. This one's something different. I will do the other one first. This one's from Gary Sheen. This is more restock. I wanted to get some of this type of um, fiber and for a long time but he's 
pretty much the only person in Australia that's selling it at the moment. Oh, that's pretty. This one's got sparkle. It's got sparkle in it. Very pretty. These are all 100 grams. Hang on, that's in a different bag to this bigger bag. So maybe that was a little gifty. Mm. Okay, the others is all mixed up. Bag full of wonderfulness. Look at this. Bag full of pretties. Oh, wow. I think that other one... I'm not sure. I'm going to have to go through this and see how many there is. But I did get 500 grams. That looks so cool. I think they will make some really interesting thick slub, double ply slub beehives, beehive yarns, or, or some core spun yarns, or super coil yarns. Ooh. These are merino silk. So, I'm going to um, take them out and show you. These are awesome. Look at that. These colours. And it's so soft. This is very pretty. Thank you, Gary. This is very, very beautiful. Yes, I will definitely be back. For more at the end of the year very pretty very good quality if anyone's after anything this one's pretty I think they're all pretty but that one's pretty cool Very, very cool. These um, color breaks are big enough to actually strip them down and do self-striping. And they're not super blended, so you could do that. That's really cool. I really like that one. Just smash my hand. Yeah. These look a lot nicer than on the pictures. Look at that. So beautiful. Yes, definitely get some more in, Gary. These are stunning. These are stunning. This is exciting. I've been wanting something like this in a long time. But it's either the who has it here in Australia and where do I buy it outside of Australia. Ooh. Look at that one. Look at those colours. Wow, that is so pretty, very, very pretty, wow, yes, I am so excited with all that, with all of the pretties, very, very happy. Look, look at this. 
How long has it been since I had some pretty stuff, some colour in this room to play with? It has been so long. Oh my gosh. So long since I had colour to play with and pretty fibre. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Very, very, very exciting. I'm going to open this one up. This one. Look at that. Oh my God. <laughs> Look how beautiful. Oh my gosh. This one's more blended though. So I won't be able to separate the colors. But I think to keep all the pretty as much as I can, it would make a beautiful um, single ply slub or um, a slub beehive yarn but that is so beautiful otherwise if you double ply this this is going to turn into mud you're going to lose all the color and it is just going to be very hard to tell the color so if you're making puffs out of this with the slub, you're going to have big puffs of the colour. Um, you're also going to have the double ply as well, but you will have big puffs of this colour um, to show. So that is quite beautiful, but... A little bit harder to spin to keep the colors but all the same this is stunning I will definitely be buying more um, around the end of the end of the year Christmas depending depending on if I um, sell anything from now to Christmas or if I sell these advent calendars the advent calendars have been um, I've only got one person interested in a fiber box um, this year has been very hard on everyone on everyone's pocket so what I'm going to do is, because I've prepped enough yarn and enough fibre for these boxes to have five of each, fibre and yarn, um, for the prices they are, I don't think I'm going to be able to sell them. So I'm going to probably make up three yarn boxes and probably probably three um, fiber boxes and then I will have them available on my Etsy shop as soon as they are finished and packed I will take photos I will also probably share an update on here um, if anyone is interested in pre-ordering yours or one for you please send me a message on one of the platforms that I use Facebook or Instagram 
I am offering payment plans up until mid-October if that suits you better if you would like to have a advent calendar this year um the rest of the boxes that I were was gonna make up I've decided I'm going to do 100 gram mini um, gradient sets to sell for the Christmas sale so that way it's a little bit cheaper uh, for anyone that would like to purchase anything um, keep an eye out for them I'm going to do a lot of sneak peeks over the next couple weeks I do need to dye a lot of fiber and a lot of yarn still um, but just keep an eye out for them and yeah um, the boxes for the fiber um, ones are quite large they are quite big so there's a lot of fiber that's going to go into them um, so yeah if you want a decent fiber box they will be available for the excess fiber that were going to be for the advent calendars I will also be selling them on Etsy dyed up um, probably in bundles gradient bundles or um, probably 25 gram um, bundles but I will think about that a little bit more as the months go on so yeah that's very exciting lots of pretty stuff I've shown you today and some dyes and this one here um, I started following the Aussie Swappers group on Ravelry again I used to do it a lot when I was a bit younger when I was in Darwin um, and in Sydney but so much has changed so much has um, everyone's grown everyone's grown apart we moved to North Queensland um, lots of stuff has happened through the last six years and I think I'm back in the place where I could start swapping again so I joined up again it's been great um, talking to all the ladies again and this package is one of the ones that was um, filled so I ended up getting some beautiful fabric um, I've been collecting different things um, different fabrics and stuff I'm going to start getting into making stuff like my own fiber no hang on making my own uh, clothes um, as well as bags maybe aprons uh, I was thinking about aprons after I spoke to mum today um, but I'm mainly going to get into doing the spinning wheel pedal slippers for those that spin on hardwood and have really sore feet so if you're interested in that I will be start I will start making them in the next week I will have a couple um, different sizes available and then you can either purchase pre-purchase 
um, the pre-made stuff or you could do a custom model with me if the size of your wheels pedal is not the same size as any of the ones that I have made so this swap this swap is amazing um, this swap is two swaps two different swaps one was this is more fa fabric than I thought I was getting. Um, I think one was Anything Goes and the other one was Surprise Your Wish is Granted. So I love these swaps. It's like you can trade um, anything that hasn't, hasn't gone to anyone um you can choose to um surprise someone with a gift that they've been asking for um you can offer up anything that's laying around in your house that you don't need anymore or you would like to receive something else um, and then when you claim it or you say surprise your wish is granted then you have to come up with something to share as an offer or to ask yourself and then someone will grant that and so forth and it continues so this one here I asked for um, a surprise which was fabric or thread for plying and I received um, I received some some fabric Christmas fabric which is lovely because I was after some of that uh, some more Christmas fabric And a lot bigger um, lot of Christmas fabric. So thank you very much. Um, and some thread. I think it's wool. So that's pretty cool. The other one was Anything Goes and she was offering up three lots of fabric, decent amount of fabric, very pretty. Um, I was trying to work out what I was going to make with it um, but couldn't resist and so I I claimed this. It is so pretty. I was thinking, because this is enough. This is enough to do something special. Something special with it. But. They have gold and silver, silver on them. Pretty. This one's a little bit smaller piece, but it's still pretty. Now these can be leftovers from someone else's stash and, and used for someone else. But I'm very grateful. They are all so pretty. Um, it's been fun joining those swaps. I did join a couple and I got a couple um, offers up of my own. 
which were claimed up. So I'm going to be sending these off um, next week to my swappy. Depending on if she buys them, uh, depending on if she um, claims another thing, we'll go on the top here and all be sent off together to save on postage. So that's pretty exciting. Um, update on my weaving. I am almost finished. So that's pretty exciting. Um, I am working on the frame work of the um, gold diamonds for the end. I just had a sore back um, the last couple weeks so I haven't been doing anything just rest. Um, I also had to go to the dentist and got quite a few teeth pulled out. So I'm trying to um, work on my mouth issues. Um, so hopefully that will all be done by the end of the year, which would be nice. So I was a little out of whack for a little bit there. Um, so I will do some more photos of the progress on that one and I will have a tutorial, a more in-depth tutorial on how to make the diamonds. If anyone's interested, I will be selling that um, for a couple dollars on my Etsy shop. Um, that or directly through me and I will send you the link. Uh, it will be a private link, so, um, yeah, I'm only thinking a couple dollars because I haven't been able to figure out how to, uh, actually make a written pattern for it. When I figure out that, I will start selling it properly. Um, what else? Nothing much. Nothing much else has happened with me. Um, I will be doing some more, um, I will be doing another video on some carding soon for the, um, the winner of last giveaway. She has ordered some bats, uh, some mini bats or, probably, yeah, some mini bats in beautiful white, merino and silk and she wants some beautiful light uh, colored flowers um, mixed into it so light colored beautiful um, I'm thinking some of this one about Probably uh, 25 grams of this one mixed into it for her flowers. Um, that way, and then it'll, it'll also have um, some bright green viscose as well. And that one's already got sparkle, so I won't have to add extra sparkle. Um... So that one is going to be very beautiful and then I will be sending it off and she is in France. So that's pretty exciting. Lynn, this 
order will be the first order to France. So I am extremely excited. So thank you very much. Um, I have to. No, I don't know. Um, if anyone has any suggestions on what you would like me to do with all these beautiful, beautiful flavour, um, you can either comment down below or um, if you want to do a custom order, custom order with me um, for any of them beautiful things, um, you can message me on Facebook or Instagram. Uh, my spinning fee is $20, $25 for double ply and $15 to $20 for um, thick and thin uh, double ply slub. So if you're mm. not familiar what thick and thin is, it is a single ply slab. Um, if you would like me to do a core spun or a super coil with any of the beautiful fiber that I have here, you're looking at $25 my spinning fee plus what the and then you add what the price of the fiber was on top of that price and that's my yarn cost um so that's it for now so thank you very much for joining me i hope you really enjoyed all of that beautiful stuff that I just took out of these bags. Um, I hope you enjoyed the little updates that I had. And if anyone is after pedal slippers, um, keep an eye on, on my Facebook and Instagram in the next couple weeks as I will be uh, putting up photos of the products that are finished for sale um, if anyone is interested in advent calendars um, keep an eye out on my Facebook and Instagram and my Etsy shop I will have them up there as soon as I have finished making them up um, it's been a journey. This year has been long. It has been very slow with sales. Um, I'm someone that loves to be busy. I love orders. I love just having to churn out stuff constantly. Um, so when I'm not making sales, it's very slow and can be very boring, but I do understand. We are all doing it tough. Um, so my thoughts are with everyone. I uh, hope you have a wonderful week um, and bye for now.